Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to explain how to calculate inbreeding from a pedigree. Imagine that we have a pedigree uh, as follows. So here we have female, so circle stands for female, and female would mate with one male and would have a daughter in this marriage, but also she would mate with another male and uh, in other marriage she may have uh, a male so this is going to be half brother half sister and imagine now that they would also uh, marry or just mate and would have a daughter so for example daughter would be i and uh, this male would be a and this uh, female would be b and this uh, female would be C. Why I do not put any numbers for these two males? Because uh, we are just interested when we calculate inbreeding um, by using uh, a pedigree just in common uh, ancestry. So for uh, person I, so we can put an arrow here that we calculate uh, inbreeding for this person. We only interested in direct uh, common ancestor, and uh, for example, this person here wouldn't be uh, ancestor for this person here that we designate with C, but this person would be a common ancestor to C, but wouldn't be common ancestor to A. So as you see, the only common ancestor here would be. B. So how we are going to calculate inbreeding coefficient? And here is a formula. 1 half raised n. And n here is the number of nodes. So imagine that we can connect uh, all these uh, people who would relate to each other uh, by putting uh, straight lines. So here is the first line second line, third and fourth line. So our pathway would be uh, as follows. So this is going to be I, A, B, C and I. And we can cross out uh, I because we repeat it twice. So we have here three nodes. So this is going to be first node, this is going to be second and this is going to be third. Now according to our formula we just have to use numbers and this is going to be one half raised uh, three and the answer would be one eighth. So in breeding of the uh, I would be one eighth. Let's now consider different uh, situation. So here we would have um, one female. Once again that is going to be married to males and in one marriage she would have female, in other marriage she also may have female. Both of them would marry two males of course and in this marriage they would have female and in this marriage they would have male and these two people would also marry and uh, would have a male. So uh, do you see a difference between these two pedigrees? So would you be able to calculate uh, inbreeding in this situation? I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve uh, this problem on your own now. You have a formula, so I hope you would be able to do it. And I will proceed. So here we have a slightly different situation. Once again, uh, we have uh, one common ancestor here. And here is a common ancestor. So I would use red color and uh, 
For example, this person would be common ancestor to this and of course to this and to this. But let's think about uh, this person. Does this person share any of the genes with this person? So this uh, daughter of these two people would have 50% of the genes of her mother, 50% of the genes of her father, but none of the genes of this unrelated person. So we just can cross out this person. And now let's consider uh, this person, this female, she would have 50% of the genes of her mother, 50% of the genes of her father, but she wouldn't be related to this person. So we can cross out this person too. And uh, of course, uh, the same rules applies to other unrelated people. So direct relation would be here. So once again, we can build a direct path from people who would share uh, their genes. So all these people would have some kind of relation. And uh, relation here, I mean uh, genetic relation. They would share some of their genes. So uh, once again, we're using this rule in order to solve this problem. And now we just have to calculate our pathway. So for example, once again, this would be person I and this is going to be A, B, C, D, and E. And our pathway would be I, A, B, C, D, E, and I. Once again, we just ignore this two and uh, we just calculate how many nodes we have here. One, two, three, four, and five. So uh, our calculations would be as follows. So this is going to be one half raised five. So the answer here would be uh, one over 32. And now one more example. Imagine that we have a male here and female and they would have two children that can be for example daughter and son and uh, they of course would also marry and would have daughter and son here and this daughter and son also would marry and would have uh, in their turn daughter here so as you see no matter what we put here daughter here or daughter we can put here uh, the relation wouldn't be affected because uh, this two person would share genes equally of their father and mother so this daughter would get 50% uh, of the gene from the father side, 50% of the genes from the mother side, as long as her brother would get 50% of the genes from father side, 50% of the genes from the mother side, and uh, as you understand, they would share 50% of their genes in common. So, so as you see, now situation is uh, slightly different. So here we had, for example, in first example, two brother and sister who had a child and uh, inbreeding coefficient was one eighth. Here we had uh, two half brother, oh, sorry, two half sisters that uh, also would have their children. So here we have two half cousins that have common child. And in this situation, we have uh, this person to whom both grandparents would be directly related. So we can cross out here this person who is not going to be uh, related to uh, 
this male to this uh, son in this marriage. So we can cross out this female here. That is uh, not going to be related to this daughter of this marriage. And our direct uh, pathway would be as follows. So here we can connect people who would share uh, common ancestors like this. But as you see, this is not the only one way how we can connect all these people. Because uh, the same person would be also uh, related to his grandfather. And here is another uh, pathway that is possible. So how this affect our calculations? And once again, we are going to use the same uh, formula and uh, let's put uh, uh, letters here so once again this is going to be I and this is going to be A B C D E and F here so so let's write down the first uh, pathway that I made with blue color so this is going to be I a, B, D, E, F, and I. So once again we just cross out I from both sides and the second pathway that I made with red color would be I, A, B, C, uh, E, F and I. So once again we cross out. So let's now count how many nodes we have here. One, two, three, four, five. So our calculation would be one uh, over 32 for the blue pathway. So one over 32. And as for the red pathway we also have five nodes. So this is going to be A, B, C, E, F. So once again, five uh, nodes, and this also gives us 1 over 32. But this time, because we have two pathways, we have to add them. So 1 uh, over 32 plus 1 over 32. So we just can change colors here. So this is going to be red pathway and this is blue pathway would give us uh, 1 over 16. So this is going to be our answer for the third uh, example. This is our answer for the second example and for the first example. And uh, as you see uh, here we have uh, two common ancestors we can make two pathways. That's why we use a uh, rule of addition here. Once again, here we have uh, half brother, half sister, and here we have half uh, first cousins. And in last example, we have two full cousins. And uh, here uh, would be people who would be directly related to person I and all of them would share genes between uh, themselves. So A would be related to F and E and uh, D and C. Uh, the same applies to every person in this circle except that uh, person C and person D wouldn't be uh, directly related. They wouldn't share uh, genes. They wouldn't have uh, common ancestors. That's why we built two pathways, red and blue. And the direction of the pathway doesn't matter. You can build a pathway in this direction or in this direction. 
so it actually doesn't matter. What matters, you have carefully to calculate number of nodes and then use uh, our formula. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.